Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. All right, so I have the G.I. Joe uh, Classified Series Roadblock. It looks really cool. Uh, here's the front for you. Here's the side. Here's the back. Here's the other side with Roadblock. Here's the top, first figure in the series, and then the bottom DCI, uh, DCPI. Uh, but besides that, let's crack this thing open. All right, here's Roadblock out of the packaging. So as far as accessories, it doesn't come as much as uh, Snake Eyes or um, Duke, but it comes with really with this huge, I, I guess either sniper or blaster. Looks like actually, it looks like a it could be a machine gun. I'm not sure. You can hold it different ways. Apparently, it looks like, but um, yeah, this looks pretty go cool. And it has this little slot here. I'll show you what that does. It has the grips, another grip right here, and then another one if you just want to act it as if it's like a sniper. It kind of reminds me of, um, I forgot what ship it's called, from Halo. Um, it gives me that look. And then you get this translucent looking blue at the very last piece of it and then you get like this little barrel action down here you can kind of see it just a little bit not real well um and yeah and then you get this little part right here where you can put it on the shoulder and then yeah and he comes with this knife nothing really special about it just gray silver whatever you want to call it and then this is a magazine for that blaster so, nothing really special about it besides, so all you do here is just port it in, I think it goes around this way first, just port it in like that, just like that, and then just slide back out like that. So I'm going to keep mine in though. And then, uh, for the figure, you just want to put the knife, there's this little slot right here. Just put that in, and then you just have them holding this. Um, now let's go over the figure itself. So, the face sculpt looks pretty good. I don't know what he actually looks like in the comics or anything like that, but to me it looks good. And then nice looking, so well, nice soft like jacket right here, vest. Um, some nice sculpting paintwork here. I only got one like little mess up there where the blue's bleeding in a little bit. Um, and I think that's the only paint mess up there. Uh, there's a little bit of scuffing going on there, not a whole lot. And then, yeah. And then he has this cool looking tattoo on his shoulder. His um, gloves comes with these. Uh, knuckle guards like the uh, like Duke did, except this one has like more. It has some like, red lining in the inside, red uh, bracelet, and then yeah, and then the pants look good. He has the gold knee pad, none on that side, and then gold shin guards with some red lining, some straps for the boots, um, just black boots. And then, yeah, so let's go over his articulation. So his head, so it has the same thing, but his head can barely move down. His head can move kind of up, but the jacket's kind of getting in the way, so really you can just move up like that, that far up and this far down with the neck joint too at the bottom. So yeah, and then his arms can move up Further than 90 degrees, that's good. And then he has like a butterfly joint here. Mm, that's kind of tough to do. 
Uh, yeah, it's it's not as useful as, well, you can kind of see it. It moves a little bit, not a whole lot. 360 rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, pretty good. And then instead of going side to side, they have them going up and down. So his wrist can hinge down that far, up that far. I'm pretty sure that's because you want him to be using the machine gun action, kind of. And then uh, he does have a ab crunch. It's just hidden in the jacket. I'm not sure if you're able to take this off, actually. I don't think you can. Yeah, I don't think you can. But with that, and then with the pivot, you get him to bend down that far backwards with the pivot, and then backwards with the ab crunch pretty good, especially with this um plastic makes it tough and then i think he has he has a little bit of a drop down hip so without it you can get him to kick out pretty close to 90 degrees and then with it well i guess that was with the drop down what if i move it back up yeah it's just going to switch um and then you get him to kick forward that far backwards not much i think that's why i messed up on the duke i, I forgot to do the forward and back um and then he has a thigh cut he has double jointed knees. He has a boot swivel. And then ankles can hinge that up that far, down that far, ankle pivot. He's a really cool figure. Uh, the only problems that I have is trying to get him to hold this. One, while I was trying to pose him like this. And then two, the neck joint, the jacket gets in the way. So I'm not sure if someone can like try to modify that maybe. They could probably cut off like a little bit of that so they can move his head back a little bit. But besides that, that's the only gripes about it. And a little bit of paint scuffing, but that's just, I didn't really care about that stuff that much. Um, but really good figure. I like the little accessories. They don't have as much, he doesn't have as much as Snake Eyes or Duke, but really good figure. Um, but that's all I've got. All right, so for today's video for whoever I uh, guess the uh, character correctly for the G.I. Joe um, G.I. Joe uh, roadblock um, and mentioned me in their story and reposted it um, I took screenshots there's only two people in here so hopefully we could get more people but uh, I'm just gonna do this for now on and sorry in the background you hear my brother or his fan going on his computer but um yeah let's do this give it a quick shake i'm not looking i'm looking at the camera all right ready yeah all right let's move him around a little bit I'm trying to figure out all right ready one two three Oh, dropped it. <sighs> All right, Puff of Customs again. Uh, good job, man. He does really cool pictures with Legos and figures. Make sure you check out his Instagram page at Puff of Customs. And, yeah, good job. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have car pages. Christian's car page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's car page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it, um, more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, I, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.